So I saw this tweet from Evrecord today. Is this the end for the iOS screen recorder? Or more prudently, should we ask, did it ever begin? Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel. And if it's your first time here, my mission is to help you get your iOS screen recordings, whether it be on iPad or iPhone, onto the YouTube world. And one of those applications that was supposed to help us was called Evrecord. But we need to go back into the DeLorean to about a year from today to try and work out what exactly has happened with this application. It all started with the return of iRec, iRec 2.0. And a lot of us got very excited about this application because it was seen as the triumphant return of the original screen recorder, coming back for, as it was then, iOS 9, quickly onto iOS 10 but it was beset with problems straight away. It didn't do a recording very well, and the developers acknowledged that, stopped the AirPlay server, as I remember, and then there was a month of uncertainty before the application was killed completely, or so we thought. Fast forward three months to January of this year, and they came back rebranded as Evrecord. Whatever internal politics there were with the developers, they seemed to have sought them, and again, we were all excited. However, even when the application first came out, it was beset with problems. In particular, we had this slow motion problem, and then it just wouldn't record any audio, and so there were bugs time after time. And the developers kept saying they'd be working on it, doing quick releases, we'd test it, and it still wouldn't work. I think the last version we had was Evrecord 1.5. And that was, I think, at the beginning of summer, and we haven't heard much from Evrecord since. There's been a couple of conversations through DM, and I was checking whether they were still developing it, and the idea was, yes, they would be. And then iOS 11 came along, and that seems to have completely decapitated many of the iOS screen recorders that were around in iOS 10. For example, Airshow, Visorec, and Evrecord all had major problems with the AirPlay server on iOS 11. And to date, as far as I'm aware, none of those screen recorders actually work on iOS 11 as that approaches its full release. So this last tweet that's come from Evrecord saying that they're, I guess, not actively developing for every record on iOS 11. There seems to be a big blocker bug that they cannot fix. I did try and have a quick conversation with them in DM, but they haven't responded yet. So if they do, I will update this particular video. But for the time being at least, and with their track record, it looks as if Evrecord is dead for the time being. Now, I'm gonna be brutally honest here. I'm not going to mourn the loss of Evrecord for the simple reason that this story is a year old. And throughout all of that, I've never used Evrecord as a screen recorder because for me personally, it never worked completely, especially with audio recording. And I know a lot of you have complained about the same thing, a few of you, a select few, seem to have been able to get Evrecord to work as you wanted to. But yeah, for most people, it's just been so unreliable that it's not a viable alternative to the other screen recorders that are out there. And that, of course, leaves Airshow. Remember that screen recorder that I say I love and still continues to work on iOS 10 and has worked ever since I first covered it, which was way back in January 2016. That is still the best working screen recorder up to iOS 11. So that's a quick update on the current scene with Evrecord. If you know any more, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this quick update. If you want more iOS screen recording content just like this, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. And just a final thought to the Evrecord developers, a big thumbs up for your attempts to get a screen recorder working on iOS. We all appreciate it. nothing personal about my views and opinions. I'm just trying to deliver facts. Good luck in the future and I hope you return soon.